everybody can open their uh, advanced images folder from the solution, load the modeler checkpoint too. All of you have your project model folder, and this is our piracy hex bin. So this is the model that we had created, and you run this, it just creates a model with a spatial index. Now, what we want to do is in this model, when we give the input, the input grid size is in meters. So we're giving 250,000 as input to the model. But, and the reason we need to give in meters is because when we create the grid, the grid size has to be in the unit of the CRS. We are using this CRS, which is our uh, equal, equal projection, which is meters. So we have to give this meters. So grid size has to be in meters. But you can see that having this in meters can cause problems. What if I forgot one zero? Or if I add an extra zero? So what I want to do is we want to change the model so we can take the input in kilometers. With that, you can explain the exercise. So uh, here uh, we want to give input like this uh, rather than uh, giving it in meters. So it should be like, uh, uh, so you are giving it in kilometers, but internally it should be converted to meters uh, before we feed it to the pro uh, model itself. So uh, you can do this by using pre-calculated value rather than the model input. So you can uh, give the expression where you can convert uh, your uh, kilo kilometers to meters internally. So user will uh, obviously uh, put uh, the value here in kilometers, but internally you are calculating it to meters using pre-calculated values. And those expression uh, will be applied to the grid, grid size. And then uh, whenever uh, uh, user will uh, do this in uh, kilometer uh, you are uh, converting it to meters and the model is getting it in the meters so finally you your output will be correct so you we have to just uh, do this explore this pre-calculated value for the grid size and uh, apply the expression over there and then you can test this with the uh, number like 250 or 200 and make sure you first uh, once you do this change the expression if you just run it with 250 your model will run, create, try to create a grid of 250 meters globally and your QGIS will crash. You need to convert it before you send it to uh, that in the grid algorithm. Otherwise, if you just use 250 instead of 250,000, your QGIS will crash because it's trying to create literally billions of grids at 250 meters for the global scale. So try out the challenge 3.2.1.